Look, failing a class sucks no matter how you look at it. But if there's something certain out of this, is that there are steps you can take to don't get out of trial and still succeed in your classes from now on. Hi, I'm Santiago from Great Hacker, the non-operational student's number one resource, and after helping many students succeed over the years, we are sure when we say that failing is just a part of the process and won't define you. So let's see what to do in those cases. The reality is that if you expect to go through your whole career without failures, that expectation will only do you worse to your experience. I'm sure that you're dedicated, or at least this is something you care about, because otherwise you wouldn't be here looking at how to overcome this feeling and be better. But the truth is that failures will happen. It happens to all of us, and surprisingly, it's the moment where we learn the most. It should be taken as an opportunity to grow even more than expected. So if you got to this point, the first advice for you is take a break. Give yourself permission to take a step back and focus on self-care. Even though you're probably frustrated with yourself, you still have to be your best friend throughout this. Self-care will help you cheer yourself up and get back on track better with another predisposition to learn. Then, talk it out. Speak with a trusted friend or family member about your experience. Don't keep it to yourself out of shame or embarrassment. We all feel this way at some point in our lives and friends are there to be at your lowest and highest. Talking through your feelings can help you process them and gain a better perspective. But if you see that this has made a significant impact on your life, then seeking counseling is another valuable advice you should take. A mental health professional can provide guidance and support during this and give you precisely what you need to move forward. College is a place where we go to learn skills to get the career we want. We are surrounded by experts in the field who should have the capacity to be patient with all students and respect each learning space. So what better place to fail a subject than somewhere where you can get corrections and keep learning to improve? That's what college is about. And to move on and learn from our mistakes, there are strategies you can implement right now. First of all, identify areas of improvement. Reflect on the course and create an action plan for improving in future classes. Now, make sure to set realistic goals that can be easily achieved. Be realistic. Then, reach out for help. Get in touch with your professor or academic advisor. They may provide you with resources and guidance to see what you got wrong and ensure future success. You can also consider tutors and external help if the classes are too much to keep up with. If you don't know where to look for them, you can start with our website and find our guides and tips. And something that is often taken for granted, but is essential, is to stay positive. The mindset is everything. Remind yourself of your strengths and focus on your progress rather than your failures. Working on getting to better mindset can make a huge difference in the confidence in you. And trust us, it will inevitably be reflected in your class results. There's no simple answer to what to do when you feel bad because you had a bad grade, but keep in mind that even the most successful people in the world had at least one. You are still in control of the situation, and with hard work and dedication, you can reach your goals and become the professional you are meant to be. And if you need an extra hand, hey, just reach out to us. We'll be happy to help with any concern you have and bring a solution together. For example, there are more videos in our channel that will help you improve your learning experience, such as our tips for auditory learners and AIs that are great when you have to do your homework. And if you like this topic and think that there are more students who will find this video helpful, you can like, comment an emoji, or share this video so we can grow together and help those who need it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.